I decided to be the new president of League of Legends. Yeah, I'm doing this thing for Riot Games. It's this uh, thing, you know, I become the president and I kind of take over the company and I kind of kill it to do an amazing job. I've never been to Riot before. It's a Riot, am I right? Wow. High five. Woo. Hopefully they like me. They have no choice, I'll be the president. I like acting a little bit. You know, I like pretending to be something that I'm not. It's, it's such a popular thing out here. Wow, great lighting. I guess part of me just wanted to try something new. I want to make sure I keep this angle though, right? Do cameras AB comments? I decided to be the new president of League of Legends. You can call me Lil Nas Executive. Bottom line, I'm here to change the industry, baby. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's so good. All right, let's move on, that was really good. Cool. I said nude year. Like Udier. I said Nudier. Like Udier. Nudier, Udier. Bootier. No, we're deleting Yumi. I've made my decision. Delete the, delete the freaking cat. <laughs> delete the freaking cat. <laughs> Gank sounds like a really bad word to say. <laughs> Gank. <laughs> As president of League, I want to make the greatest world's anthem of all time. Uh, sometimes in life you gotta give up. Stop going. Stop. And then go again, you know? Sometimes you gotta give things a breather. Like that song that I took months on and just finally finished. All right guys, here we go. Let's clear frame and roll camera, please. This is actually the longest I've ever worked on a song. I had the verses from the beginning, but the hook took months and months and months. Like we started in February and it's September now. I finished it last night. Yeah, I didn't get the hook until yesterday. Crazy timing. He's so right about that. I think more people need to say that. You know? So this is everyone in the bullpen. Yeah. Um, oh, I also want to show you around marketing, but only if you want it. You don't have to do. You don't have to press. It's you know that's up to you. Maybe in this scene, like here. I get like a big gut wrench and I fall to my knees and I cry, and then I win my Oscar next year. All right, we'll do that the next day. Okay. Okay. It's a thick phone. Yeah. Total. Thanks, guys. Good work. Let's uh, lock it up outside, please, guys. Get in there. Wow. So you're telling me you can build tank items and still solo their ADC? This is flawless. Can you come up with something other than this is flawless too? This is such a sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> flawless. Flawless. Okay. Slaying a bit. Okay. Are you getting this? <laughs> I know you can carry your base. Look. We all know you can carry with bass, cause Sante Nas, come on. That's me looking at this again, pointing some more, now I'm pointing a little with my feet. And now, without further ado, I give you the Cassante Prestige Skin. Don't clap. Without further ado. I'm Cassante's cousin, Montero. Yeah. <laughs> we got a grand reveal for you. Yeah, yeah let's see it. Awesome. Hey. Wow. <laughs> That's sick. They stole my outfit. <laughs> Prestige is basically like the most elevated collectible item that a player in League of Legends can get. So what this outfit basically is, it's like imagining Cassante um, in a really high fashion, uh, like red carpet outfit that's drawing a lot of inspiration from the base Empyrean skin. We gotta make this in real life. <laughs> this is a mix of you and him. It's beautiful. Gotta get those you butterflies in there, right? Hold on. Yes. <laughs> One other thing too is, you know, we got the butterflies here, but we also built some of that shape language and the lapels too. Oh. The jacket. So yeah, you got this cool butterfly lapel and some layering in there too. 
you know, your, your story just resonates with people. You know, it's like, hey, you can, you got this. Work hard and give it all you got. And, you know, show, showcasing you here. And there's a lot, a lot for players to, you know, latch on to and be inspired by. I fear that was a great moment. It's a perfect moment. <laughs> Good afternoon. I need to focus my mind and soul on bigger and doper things, such as creating the greatest world's opening ceremony we've ever done. As you're coming off like this, you'll be like, see you November 5th. In this camera, yeah. I'll do that. See you November 5th. <laughs> How about a big round of applause for our friend Little Nas I won't finish. Is it happening in the middle of a pool game? T1 is over here. What's up? Like to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you excited, man? Very excited. It's gonna be great. All right, guys, act like we're like friends and stuff. <laughs> I hear you like the best of all time. Thank you. Joining Jackson now on stage for a couple of photographs, our former president of league, Little Nas X. Is this the actual trophy? Yeah. No! Ah. <laughs> uh, first, uh, this has been a lot of fun. I feel like it's always fun when I work like with people that are in gaming because I'm like way more involved and we got to do a lot more things together. I don't know, it feels like uh, more of a community rather than, it, than me just like coming in and like doing this thing and like, okay, see you guys. And how are you going to translate that energy to your performance on Saturday? I'm going to try to put a lot of me in that performance. Well, I am going to put a lot of me in it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a lot of movement. It's going to be a really sick show. This is the first time that we're actually performing stall walking with choreography on tour. He kind of just goes out and performs it by himself. So this is the first time that we've actually had staging and dancers and a lot of like screen content that's interactive with the performance. On Angle One, can we all, oh, there's your rumble. Anytime I work with Nas, it is the most challenging thing I've ever done in my entire life. Um, just because he's a big nut. What's you guys' favorite kind of fart? What's your tea this morning? Baby, you know I'm a little brat. Cool. Brats need space. The goal for today is basically just blocking. We're trying to get all of our marks in the proper spacing so that all the screen content lines up. He has a lift gag that he's doing, so we're testing out the lift. So there's absolutely zero chance that this would ever fall, right? Correct. And also- You didn't say anything. He'll tell you, he's the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm terrified. I could piss in my pants. Three, two. We're going that way, but where do you want to flip on? I imagine everybody else is like a robot and I'm just like having like a little fun in like a VR world. Yeah, and it's like makes everything easier. Don't ever see it's over if I'm breathing Raise it to the moonlight and I'm speeding I'm ready to the stars, ready to go far and start
I did, I did my best, man. You killed it. Thank you guys so much. I've been commentating for 10 years. I've seen every opening ceremony. That was the best one that we've ever done. I so badly want to get in that photo. <laughs> How does it feel to know that millions of people just watch you do that? How does it feel? Uh, yeah. I think that's sick. I think that's a crazy number of people. If I like sat here and like thought about it right now, you know, maybe three years ago, I'm like sleeping like on the couch and I'm like, this place that is probably the last place on earth. I probably could be, I feel like there's a better odd of me being like the president of the United States right now than like being here right now, you know?